Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench, looking at the sabotage weapons developed by Britain's Special Operations Executive during World War II. Today, we're looking at an incarnation of the magnetic limpet mine. We see a free French Air Force officer, possibly training as a member of the SOE, place a limpet mine on a substantial piece of metal plate. The mine scene in the footage is clearly much smaller than the limpets used against ships. The limpet mine was initially developed in 1939 by the Military Intelligence Research Section, which later became MD-1. Stuart McRae and Cecil van der Peer Clark developed a mine with enough magnetic strength to attach an explosive charge to the hull of a ship. The initial design seen here was quite large, but the design was refined as the war went on. Here's a Type 2 limpet, a Mark III limpet, and a Type 6 Mark II. The idea was divers or saboteurs in small boats could quietly attach their mines to enemy shipping while at anchor. However, the usefulness of a magnetic charge was clear, and it appears that smaller versions, like the ones we see in this footage, were developed for use against armoured vehicles and other substantial armoured targets. It's unclear from the film what the explosive charge was, how big it was, and how it was laid out inside the mine, but from the damaged plate displayed at the end of the footage, it appears it may have been a ring of plastic explosive held in place by the four magnets. As we saw in our earlier video on plastic explosive, thin rings of explosive placed onto the plate produce a similar pattern of damage. Interestingly, the limpet mine seen in the film is very similar to a Japanese design, the Type 99 anti-tank mine. However, its fuse design is different, and the four magnets are blocky rather than rounded. Whether the Japanese magnetic mine influenced the design developed by SOE is unclear. I've been unable to find an official designation for these mines. They may not have been given one, but it does appear to be fairly well developed. In these photographs we can see that a metal plate carrier has been developed to allow a soldier to carry four mines on his back. Perhaps these mines were developed for a specific mission, or they were superseded before they could enter service by something like the number 82 grenade, the gammon bomb. The magnetic clam charge which we've already covered in an earlier video would have done a similar job for smaller tasks. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the rest of the series looking at SOE's sabotage devices. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting us via Patreon or with a one-time donation via coffee.com. Another great way to support the project is to simply share the videos with friends and help us get the word out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.